Hello and welcome to Nashville Super Speedway in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, for the Ally 400, the regular season finale for the Jimmy John's Cup Series. We have eight drivers who have locked themselves into the playoffs, and another eight spots to fill today. Will a new driver win and get themselves into the playoffs from outside, or will one of the usual suspects win again? Ten laps is all that we have to decide our playoff field around this one and a third mile concrete trioval. Definitely going to be an interesting race today, as we have temperatures of about 90 degrees today. So, it's going to be a difficult one with the track being very slick for these drivers. So it's going to be all about taking care of those tires and making them last all the way to the end of this race. And Daniel Suarez will probably have a lot of momentum coming into today, coming off of that Coca-Cola 600 win at Charlotte. Maybe you can come back for a strong finish or maybe another win today. Now for your fifth third bank top five preview, Matt De Benedetto is starting on pole. He hasn't won yet, so he might win today. Same for Kevin Harvick, who's starting second, but those both of those guys are in the playoffs. Ryan Blaney won at Las Vegas, another trialable track, so maybe he might win today. He's starting third. Martin Trex Jr. starting fourth, won in Atlanta, and he, so he's locked in. And Brad Keselowski won in that thrilling finish at Pocono. Some other ones to watch, Joey Logano currently out of the playoffs, same for William Byron, so they need good finishes or wins today. Ross Chastain starting eight, ninth is probably in a must-win situation. Now for your point standings coming into today. Some drivers just above the cut line, Eric Almarola and Chris Buescher barely in, and Ross Chastain, Eric Jones, Joey Logano, William Byron just barely out, and Briscoe and Christopher Bell are a little further out. Now for your starting lineups in row one, it's Matt Benedetto and Kevin Harvick. Row two is the 12 of Ryan Blaney and the 19 of Martin Jurex Jr. Row 3 is the 2 of Brad Keselowski and the 18 of Kyle Busch. Row 4 is the 22 of Joey Logano and the 24 of William Byron. They both need good days. And in row 5 is Ross Chastain, who needs a win today, and Kyle Larson. Row 6 is the 11 of Denny Hamlin and the 9 of Chase Elliott. In row 7, it is the 1 of Kurt Busch and the 14 of Chase Briscoe. In row 8 today, it is... 48 of Alex Bowman and the 17 of Chris Buescher, and row 9, Charlotte winner Daniel Suarez and Ryan Newman. And row 10, it's the RCR teammates of Austin Dillon and Tyler Reddick to round out the top 20. And in row 11, it's Eric Almarola and Christopher Bell. Row 12 is the 43 of Eric Jones and the 37 of Ryan Priest. And in row 13, it is 23 of Bubba Wallace and the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Then it's going to be the 33 of Austin Sindrick and the 96 of Ty Dillon in row 14. And to round out your field, it's going to be Cole Custer and Noah Gregson. As the pace car pulls off, the Fords of Matt Benedetto and Kevin Harvick lead them to the green flag at Nashville. And they're already going three and four wide. Martrix Jr. four wide on the outside as Matt Benedetto is holding on into turn one. Brad Keselowski four up on the bottom. Here's Martrix Jr. on the outside. He has the momentum and he's going to take the lead away from Matt Benedetto. So Ryan Blaney's fighting back on the inside. And here they go into turns three and four. Martin Truex Jr. is faster in that middle lane than Ryan Blaney, and he is clear for the lead. Coming on to the front straightaway. And Martin Truex Jr. leads the first lap at Nashville. The regular season finale. As Ryan Blaney and his affiliate teammate Matt Benedetto are trying to chase him down. And out of turn two, Martin Truex Jr. is in the big lead, and William Byron blows a tire. Hard crash for the 24. Let's look at the replay. He just blows out the tire coming into turn one and hard into the wall. Again, it's a really hot day today, so that probably had something to do with it. And here they come on the restart. Martin Trix Jr. leads them down. Matt Benedetto is trying to make it three wide on the apron. But he's still in third now as Martin Trix Jr. leads them onto the back straightaway. Ryan Delaney and Matt Benedetto battling for second. Kyle Bush in fourth and Kurt Bush in fifth. Now here's Martin Trix Jr. leading them down into turns three and four. Matt Benedetto has the inside on Ryan Blaney. Oh, another wrecking. Kyle Larson into Reddick and up and over. Kyle Larson flips down the back straightaway. Caution is out immediately again. Let's look at the replays. It just looks like Kyle Larson might have gotten into the wall off of turn two and comes down. Nothing Tyler Reddick can do. And then the car just flips over. Hard, hard crash for the five of Kyle Larson. Nothing that Reddick could have done to avoid that. So the, just the momentum shifts onto the left side, and it starts rolling down the back straightaway. 
hard crash for the five of Kyle Larson, but he is locked into the playoffs, and so is Tyler Reddick, so nothing to worry about points-wise for them. Let's look at it one more time in full speed. Oh, and now here's Martin Trix Jr. on the restart. Kyle Busch down on the bottom. Ryan Blaney stuck in the middle with four laps to go. Here's Kyle Busch and Kurt Busch on the bottom. Martin Trix Jr. leads them. Here comes Kyle Busch, his teammate, the two-time winner in the Jimmy John's Cup Series. He's won both the short tracks, and Nashville is pretty similar. Oh, but he blows a tire, and he he's into the wall. Martin Trix Jr. collected two. Caution is out again. It looks like Kyle Busch's tire just blows out. Then nothing Martin Trix Jr. could do since Kurt Busch was on that inside lane. He couldn't. He w didn't want to just go right into him. So there was nowhere for that 19 to go. Hard crash. And now here they come on the restart. Kurt Busch leads them two laps to go. Ryan Blaney on the bottom. And Chris Busher's up in the mix now. Kurt Busch is clear for the lead as Matt Benedetto is trying to fight for second on the outside. Down the back straightaway, Kurt Busch leads them. Matt Benedetto in second and Ryan Blaney in third. And now here comes Kurt Busch down the front straightaway. He is going to lead them with the one more lap to go. Into turns one and two, Matt Benedetto into second. Now here it comes on the bottom. Matt Benedetto side by side for the lead down the back straightaway into turns three and four. Matt Benedetto gets the lead, but he blows a tire into the wall. Matt Benedetto's in the wall on the final lap, and it's going to be Kurt Busch stealing the win at Nashville. Congratulations to your Nashville winner, Kurt Busch. He'll burn it down on the front straightaway to celebrate his victory. One of the most consistent drivers finally getting his win. And now for your finishing results, your top five. Of course, Kurt Busch and Matt Benedetto coming home second. Ryan Blaney in third, Keselowski in fourth, and Denny Hamlin in fifth. Chris Buescher in sixth, good points finish for him, and Logano in eighth. I don't think he'll still be in the playoffs after this. And, of course, your DNFs, Marjorie Jr., Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, Tyler Reddick, and William Byron. A lot of wrecks today. And now we'll look at your point standings. Let's look at the playoff cut line, and Chris Buescher and Eric Almarola are in. And Joey Logano will miss out on the playoffs. Ross Chastain actually was in seven, is in 17th, Logano in 18th. Only five points behind for Ross Chastain, so he was actually very close in the end. So a pretty big points shakeup around that cut line as William Byron was not helped by that wreck today. He fell even further down in the point standings. And none of the must-win drivers got a win today. And now your playoff field, Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, Chase Elliott, Kurt Busch, Alex Bowman, Martin Trix Jr., Kyle Busch, Matt Benedetto, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, Daniel Suarez, Austin Dillon, Tyler Reddick, Chris Buescher, and Eric Almarola make it in. Now the next race will be at Texas to kick off the playoffs of our three race playoffs. If you enjoyed this ra race, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. See you in the next one.